I had COVID-19 on my birthday, y'all. TV. If you are new to my channel, hey, my name is Leah. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. As you guys can tell by the title today, this is going to be a sit down, chit chat, life update video because y'all, a lot has been going on. I'm pretty sure you guys know, of course, we just experienced 2020, which was a crazy year in itself. I'm still glad to be here. Um, so yeah, we're not gonna make this, I'm not gonna make this video too, too long. Just wanna give you guys an update of what's been going on because I know I have been uploading um, weekly vlogs and just vlogs, period, in general. And I've been telling you guys that I was gonna get to do like a chit chat so you guys can kinda get a more inside scoop of what's really been going on. So I hope you guys, again, stay tuned. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let's get into the video. So, first things first, y'all, I have to actually make a list because I, it's, yeah, I just wanted to kind of go in order so we don't miss anything. I can touch on all topics and so you guys can be in the loop. So, first things first, of course, 2020, we all know that this is the year that just about everybody was kind of just like ready for it to be over type of thing. Um, I know that for me personally, it wasn't too, too crazy. It, it did get crazy. Now, I'm not going to say it didn't, but it did get a little crazy. But uh, with 2020, it is a lot, some positive, definitely some positive things that I can definitely say I can take away from 2020. First thing, I want to say the first couple months of 2020, of course, that's when the pandemic did come about. Um, I know that I was working in like an actual building since I do work a an actual nine to five job and we had to be sent home um i think it was like the beginning of march so now it's about to be a little bit over a year that i've been working from home so with that occurring and then of course um on top of me wanting to start my business i was i had enough time to kind of branch out and just do a lot of different things that i know that if i wasn't working from home i would know i probably wouldn't have time to do so um, I'm grateful for that. Me working from home, that did give me time, like throughout my breaks, lunches, things to kind of get gather things and gather my thoughts of what I wanted Sash to ultimately be, and also just work on other things that I needed to do in general. So to kind of bring it down to I want to say close towards the end of the year, it was my birthday. October 26 was my birthday, and you guys would never guess what happened on birthday like you would never guess in a million years like I to still to this day I'm still kind of shocked that this even happened on my birthday but I actually had where of course I was planning on lunching sash on my actual birthday so on the 26th I was like you know what I'm gonna have X, Y, and Z, this this and that and then I had like the shoe schedule makeup appointment hair appointments Inventory was in. Um, I also was planning on going to Tulum to get content there. Yeah, it was just like a multitude of things. I think I probably had like, I think October, out of all the months of 2020, October was the month that I probably spent or was about to spend the most money. So back to October, y'all, I ended up in October on my birthday. Like I, on my actual birthday, y'all, I had COVID-19 on my birthday wait a minute to this day like i said i'm still kind of like in shock that this even happened to me like i don't even know so basically with me getting COVID 19 um i do first want to say that i'm thankful blessed to still be here because as you all know a lot of people did get COVID, and it you know some people did pass away it was just like a lot going on so I ended up getting COVID-19. If you've had it or know someone that had it, it's not a joke. It's very much real and it's not nothing to be playing with. So um, with me having it, of course, I had to cancel photo shoot, cancel makeup appointment, cancel, just cancel everything, my trip, 
the trip that I had planned, I had to cancel that. I remind y'all we were planning this, I want to say, from the beginning of this year because, of course, with everything going on, we was just ready to get the F ASAP, okay? Let's just be honest. We was just ready to go and not be nowhere in the vicinity of what's going on. Just wanted to get away, get a breath of fresh air, get content. And with that happening, I'm just like, still to this day, I'm just kind of like, okay, this is crazy. Like, this is really just, I don't know how to explain it, but that's what went down. Um, also, with it happening again i'm glad i made it out of the COVID whole situation because not nothing to play with like i said um with me working from home of course i could not work from home i had the quarantine i think that whole time i was eating vegetables and fruit drinking vitamin c drinking gatorade drinking water like and then on top of that with me having it just to kind of touch on it um those first i want to say the first two three days it's crazy y'all like I think what what really threw me off and I don't know if this is if you know someone that might have had it or just can google it I don't know but y'all I want to say when I had COVID first of all you can't taste you can't smell so you first of all you're barely like you your mind you're not even really eating like you normally eat and that's the scary thing like you're you really you don't have a taste for nothing because you can't taste then on top of that, I think like I, my memory, that stuff was messing with my memory, y'all. I could not remember nothing. Well, I could remember stuff, but it was just kind of like, I feel like it was in and out. Um, when I had went to actually, when I first felt like I had it, I had went to go get the testing. The lady that checked me in or whatever, like, cause it was a drive-through kind of um, testing. She asked me, I think for my phone number, I couldn't even remember my phone number, y'all. Like it was just, all I say is, it's crazy, but I just, you know, if you had it or know someone, I just hope that y'all are okay as well, because I don't wish that on nobody, like, for real. It was just entirely just too much for me. So, um, eventually, once I did get over COVID, I did have where everything happened, like, with my computer. My computer got damaged. I had to take that. And on top of, you know, with COVID going on, they had like a the store, I guess it was behind on fixing computers because some people was out. Then back door I had with my camera. I'm pretty sure y'all know my camera, when I had my photo shoot, my camera prior to that, it started tripping. Then I had to take it back in because the lens, something broke on the lens, y'all. When I say everything that, that went crazy, it went crazy. These them, them weeks, I was just like, you know what? It's, it is what it is because this is a test, I feel like. It was definitely a test and I feel like I passed because everything that was jumping out, I was, you know, ready. I already had something lined up. I was not like, I was just like, after the whole cold situation, I was like, oh no, we can't, we don't got time to be sitting around. Like it's really, stuff is about to get real. You the one with the idea, you the one that need to push through, you the one that need to step up and you know, it's not, that's that's just how it was gonna be from then on. Okay y'all, so I do apologize, my camera actually died in the midst of me talking about what I was talking about and y'all would never guess what I was doing in the midst of me waiting for my camera to charge. So I actually was sitting up here y'all learning TikTok routines. Full fledged TikTok routines. I just learned the Cardi B up one. Um, I've been wanting to learn it because I am going to start my TikTok soon. I'm excited about that. If you may know, well, people that know me know that I did used to like dance in high school and then I tore my ACL. So I just kind of like put dance into a halt. So I'm trying to slowly get back into dancing. So I think TikTok would definitely help me with that. And then also, also me taking like classes throughout the year. So um, yeah, so that's what I was just doing in my downtime of the camera charging, the ending of 2020. So it wasn't, again, it was, it was a challenging year. I know for a lot of us, I know some people lost jobs, different transitions happened. So um, I know I'm not gonna say sit here and say that it was just a like excellent year over the top, but it definitely had some um, I feel like some different ways you had time to like it reevaluate 
come up with some new ideas, different strategies, how you want to move differently or just whatever the case may be. So um, that's what kind of what I can say my takeaway was from 2020. Now going into 2021, I know I have not said it here probably, but happy new year's to all of you. I hope so far that you are having an amazing year. You crossing your goals off of the list, off the sheet, whatever you have. But yeah, I hope that you guys are having an amazing year so far. Basically, with 2021, I was able to first, on the January 1st, I did lunch Sash. Super excited. Um, I did only, I lunched a few pieces uh, just to kind of bring in a new year, kind of get the momentum rolling on the page. Um, I was excited about that. Had the, I, of course, did. Uh, have time to eventually move forward with scheduling the photo shoot, scheduling the I had an Airbnb, I had the photographers, makeup, hair, like I had the whole nine yards. And if you've seen my video, I actually have them up on my channel. So it's the Get Ready With Me photo shoot edition that just includes all of the different behind the scenes, the everything that I kind of had to like go through to get to lunching. And this is just the beginning y'all. Again, we have not really just hit the main, main like point of sash, but I know that this is the beginning to something amazing. So I'm just super excited. If you haven't checked out the videos, make sure you do so. I'll link that below as well. But yeah, that was a crazy, look, crazy two days. I did the photo shoots back to back, got everything out the way for just, uh, bringing everything together so um with sash i can say that i am doing just about a little bit of everything with sash as far as like the posting the internet um well the website updates the email marketing the text marketing the um sizzle after pay like i've been setting all that up getting that all together because uh, my goal is to of course have where i'm kind of getting the products out doing the ads doing everything has it have it on the schedule so i have my youtube on the schedule i have lee tv which is my youtube on the schedule then i have sash on the schedule and then i have like all of my social media accounts on a schedule so that is my goal for this year y'all i know it sounds like a lot but that is my ultimate goal just to have everything on schedule have everything kind of like in flow i feel like i've been doing pretty good because i know that it can get challenging you are trying to balance that on top of like your normal life on top of you know just everything life happens so that's what's been going on with sash so far if you have not checked it out be sure to like follow shop because we do have pieces dropping in a few more days. Um, we recently just did the Valentine's Day collection. Um, we, we did really, really good like with everything. I think we probably have like a few pieces left. Then we of course do have previous um, drops as well. Those did really good. Um, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna restock, but I know that we are doing, we're in the right direction. So I'm just of course, just trying to focus on like the marketing, um just kind of telling the story behind the brand and just that's what i'm really just focusing on right now i have not had the time that i really really want to like i need a full week off from my regular job to really just focus and get like a powerpoint mood board um the whole nine yards i haven't had time to i just kind of been doing what i can and i feel like it's you know doing really good but i just need to dedicate like a full week off to just sash and just getting everything together because it's it's something that's it's, it's it's about to go down it's about to be something major something big so again make sure you follow make sure you shop if you have not done so share all that good stuff i'll link my information below and also put it right here but yeah so that's what's going on with set what else i have my notepad right here i need to i can't even read my handwriting what does it say Okay, so I talked about the lunch. I talked about balancing everything. And then also, I'm in Houston, Texas, and we had snow. Like, that is something that's just over the top. We barely even have snow. I don't, I mean, we've had snow probably like seven, eight years ago. But, y'all, it actually snowed. And we were shut down. We had power outages. We had, um, the electricity was going out. Well, that's power outages. And then we had, like, the water drain like it was just real crazy y'all we were without 
power. I want to say, I think the first night that we went to sleep without power, we woke up and it was freezing cold, y'all. Like it was crazy. Like I'm, if I know that if it happened to you or someone you may know, hopefully you guys are doing okay, doing great. But y'all, it was really crazy. Like, oh my gosh, I'm just like still in shock because today. It's actually now 75, 80 degrees outside. I'm just like three, four days ago, it was just 18 degrees. So for it to just jump to 70, that is crazy, y'all. And I'm glad that's over. So now we're about to get back into the spring, summer, which is my favorite time of the year. I am actually working on some other things. I have uh, one of my good friends. She has her workout wear, her Dunless Active Wear. I'm super excited. I'm going to be shooting with her this upcoming Sunday for some new pieces. She has some really cute pieces to work out in. They're comfortable and I just can't wait. So we're going to be doing that as well on the Sunday. Hopefully I can bring my camera. I may vlog. More than likely I will. But yeah, I'm working on that. Then my brother has his brand he's starting up he actually does like intensive training workouts so i'll link his information below if you're in the houston area local area he is really good like i can't wait to see what he has in store and then also my sister got her salon so super proud of her super proud of her like the process behind the scenes y'all everything will be up on her channel because y'all are gonna be like i can't believe y'all actually had to do all that but y'all but that behind the scenes really was what's gonna get you every time like you're gonna be like this is really people really be doing stuff and it's like yeah you really gotta put some e into that that effort okay <laughs> so so that's kind of what's going on guys i'm not gonna keep the video too too long i hope that i got kind of touched on everything that has been going on yeah i still cannot believe right now like it's too if you can see my phone y'all 2 37 in the morning i have to be up at well i wake up right at like 7 50 7 30 ish and clock in at eight so yeah like i'm still trying to like i just can't wait to see what we have like in store like i know that 2021 is going to be an amazing year you know it's going to be an amazing year for you and what you're trying to do i hope that again you know you're crossing off those goals that do have a board over here, a dry erase board where I kind of write down everything of like different ideas. I have sticky notes all over my desk, y'all. Like that's how you know I be like working. Like when you have sticky notes all over your desk, your desk is not clean. You just have, I have everything categorized. So I know where everything is, but I just have like where, yeah, it's just next level. But I don't want to make this too long. I hope that you enjoyed the chit chat video, life update. Um, I hope that again I touched on everything. The comment below. I want to talk with you guys, interact with everyone. What are your goals? Like, what do you plan on doing for 2021 going forward? Or what have you already accomplished? Like, let's spread the love, the positivity, all that good stuff. So, I hope that you guys again enjoyed the, my chit chat. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Simple.